Hey guys, we just wanted to jump on as it is our last week. Can you believe it? We've made it. Unreal. Eight weeks. So exciting. Which means we're almost done with Mark. It also means summer is almost over, which is just mind blowing mm -hmm. to me. I have a first grader this year, so we've got to oh, wow. do all the like get ready for school. Mm -hmm. All that back to school stuff, shopping. All the back to school shopping, which I actually love, but still, um, I just can't believe how quickly time has gone this summer and it's been really fun spending it with you all studying Mark. Um, we just wanted to hop on as it's our last week and share some of the things that we've found helpful this summer as we've studied as your teachers. Um, I brought my two favorite commentaries that I've used this summer and Heidi brought her whole library. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with just my two and then Heidi can walk you through her. Um, <laughs> Just stacks because of we're books in over the library. here. We are in a library. It's so weird that I brought a whole bag of books to the library. So I used this Let's Study Mark um, commentary by Sinclair Ferguson. And um, I really liked this one. It was kind of, it was a little bit shorter, more to the point. Um, not so much of the like highly technical stuff that some of the bigger commentaries can get into, but really helpful at discerning some of the nuances and kind of stranger passages that we came across in Mark. Did you see all the post-it notes? They're hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> well loved. So, and then I had this um, New Testament commentary by William Hendrickson. And this is a, this is a whole commentary series you can get. Um, I think they have it for every book or close to every book of the New Testament. And this has been my favorite. This one is definitely more technical and like more in-depth. Um, and I've really learned a lot from, from reading this commentary this summer. Mm. So Heidi. I love getting to dive into Jewish culture. So if you haven't heard of Josephus or Eusebius, they are early church historians. Can you see me? <laughs> <laughs> early church historians. So these are a fascinating read to um, get to know some of the culture. Then there's also a, uh, an illustrated Bible dictionary. There's so many out there. Mm -hmm. So I like the Baker one. This is the one that, um, that a lot of people in Dayton Women in the Word have. Mm -hmm. And so I, I went with that one and it's really cool. It has lots of colorful pictures. And of course I can't find one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is some sort of Bible dictionary or concordance. It is a good thing to have in your library of commentaries favorite Bible is the ESV study mm -hmm. Bible because yeah. their footnotes here are so helpful, so detailed, and um, yeah, yeah, I've used that one a lot too. I yeah. didn't bring mine, but. And then um, the Ignatius series, uh, the Ignatius study Bible. So this is just the, the Mark, book of Mark that they pulled out. So again, it has a bunch of commentary and helpful maps and everything. So I really like that one. Uh, my favorite one <laughs> this summer has been the Tyndale, the new Tyndale uh, series. So you can get it on pretty much every book of the Bible. Uh, it's kind of thick, but it is it oh, it dissects almost every single word in the Gospel mm. of Mark. So it's been really eye-opening to see a lot of those connections. And they do a lot of um, cross-referencing too. Mm -hmm. So when you look at like Old Testament prophecy fulfillment, this mm -hmm. has been really helpful. Yeah, that's great. And then uh, as we've been looking at Passion Week, I really love this. I had mentioned that this was uh, two weeks ago, the book that I had gotten from um, Taylor and Kostenberger is called The Final Days of Jesus. And it maps out the harmonious look across all four gospels, what happened that last week. Mm -hmm. And then um, probably part of this one, Matthew Henry, he is a fabulous uh, he has a fabulous commentary. A lot of people use this one. I think you can actually get it for free on the Blue Letter Bible app. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you, you don't have to have this giant um, book in your library. But um, yeah, he has a great commentary about the whole book. On our resource page, we have this listed. It's the N.T. Wright Mark commentary. He has one for all the books of the Bible. Uh, a lot of people like him. And he'll give uh, a lot of stories, too, about his own childhood or how um, he sees some reflection of his life in some of the application points. And then if you want to get into more of the nitty-gritty of the Greek words and stuff, the <laughs> New International Greek Testament commentary. So this is just about the Gospel of Mark, so they have them on all the different books, too. And lastly, R.C. Sproul. He's another great uh, commentator, and he has them on different books of the Bible, but this is the one on Mark. 
Ooh, we've done a lot of reading. That was a lot, summer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, I think we decided that collectively we've written almost 150,000 words. Something like something that. Something yeah. a little bit more than that. Mm -hmm. So, but it has been um, a joy and a pleasure to to do that work. It's I know I've seen the yeah. blessing in my own life just through the intensive study, and we really pray that um, the work that we've put into it has been a blessing to you. Yeah. As well. And well, then, you mentioned also some great sermon series that you've been listening oh to. Oh my goodness, yes. So, so of one of them was is actually on the the resource page. If you go to the Mark resource page, it'll link to the Bridgetown Audio podcast, which is um, John Mark Comer's church. And um, not all of the sermons are by him. He was out of town for a large part of the sermon series, but the people that he has speak for him are fabulous too, and I have learned a ton from that. Um, and then I also listened on iTunes U, you can um, listen to the teachings from, um, and now I'm going to blank on the name, Reformed Theological Seminary, there we go. Um, and they had a whole series on... Um, the Gospels, so there were like a couple lectures on Mark, but then also all of the other Gospels, so that's like, you know, what, what seminary students are hearing. Um, those are actual seminary lectures that have been recorded and are available for free on iTunes U, so those were super helpful too. A very, very different look um, coming from mm -hmm. like a seminarian's perspective, like definitely a very different um, style of, of teaching and hearing mm -hmm. about the Gospels, but um, really insightful, like technical, really mm, kind of the nitty gritty technical pieces mm -hmm. of it that you're not going to get so much in some of the some of the other stuff that we read this summer. Oh, great! So yeah, I've enjoyed that. And then the Bible Project. That's also a great oh yeah, resource. absolutely. Always, always use the Bible Project. <laughs> we love um, the guys over at the Bible Project and the work that they're doing, um, not just for Mark but for the whole Bible. They mm -hmm. have they have series about each book of the Bible, but then they also have series about like major themes in the Bible, mm -hmm. um, and so that the whole meta narrative. Yeah, and there's there's one on the kingdom of God, which we talked about a lot um, in Mark. There's um, stuff about the the Messiah. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of the themes that we've seen in Mark, you can go watch um, little theme videos. And the whoever is their graphics designer is just fabulous. Mm -hmm. They just are. They're really engaging videos. My girls lo love to watch them. Um, they're just really, really well done and helpful, yeah. putting it um, in like lay terms mm -hmm. that we can understand super easily what the Bible is saying. Because sometimes yeah. it's it can be hard for us um, who have not been to seminary to open the scriptures and just understand exactly yeah. what they say. And the Bible Project does a really good job breaking it down for it yeah. for you and putting it in terms that we use like everyday English. Mm -hmm. So that's that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> Well, there are some resources there for you. I know it's kind of like drinking from a fire hydrant here. <laughs> so we can throw all these titles at you, but hopefully you can crack one of these books open this week or listen to one of those sermons or videos mm -hmm. uh, just to help you and uh, understand what you're reading. Yeah, and we look forward to seeing you next week for our final, our final, final lecture. And you yeah. don't want to miss it because last week we left Jesus in the grave and you don't want to end your summer <laughs> the there. The story does not end no. there. No, so make sure you come this next week. Also, we have a little surprise for you. We do, so yeah. you don't want to miss it. Mm -mm. <laughs> make yeah. sure you come. And we'll see you Monday night. And Wednesday morning. Bye, Bye. ladies.